complexity is the enemy of execution that's my favorite quote and basically the more complicated you make something the less likely you're about to execute or perform on whatever that is whether it's something like making youtube videos consistently or working out consistently hitting your fitness goals so today i got for you the three meta best in slot most important exercises to do if you want to get jacked working out from home if that's the only place you want to work out is at home maybe because you don't feel like going to a gym you don't want to be crowded with all those people or maybe you want to be home as long as possible so you can stay getting to work whether you work from home or you like to play video games all day like me or you're a youtuber making videos and you don't got time you don't think you got time to work out or leave to work out so three best exercises you can do there's going to be basically a triforce holy trinity of exercises we're going to start at the top and it is going to be for chest and triceps and that's going to be simply push-ups you will almost it's almost impossible to outgrow push-ups because you can always make them more advanced so you're simply going down pushing up the biggest thing is don't let your elbows flesh super out wide keep those things tucked in 45 degrees your body's going to be shaped like an arrow and you're just pressing yourself off of the ground fighting gravity and your body weight that's going to get you so far super super jacked if you do them consistently a couple of times a week if you don't do them at all then you just you're back to square one not doing anything just imagine a version of you that does a set of like eight sets of push-ups two or three times a week for an entire year 365 days and the version of you that did zero push-ups within that year I would say the one that did all those push-ups is going to be way more jacked than the one that didn't. So that's your best in slot exercise for those two body parts, chest and triceps. If it gets too easy, you can always make those push-ups slower on the way down. You can also try one-arm push-ups, even starting on the knees until you can get the full one-arm push-ups. Without the knees, you can wear a weighted vest, maybe a backpack, put it on your back. And if you get so freaking strong that it's too easy, then you could do some push-ups without your feet even on the ground. But hey. I can't even do that. So, moving on to the next best exercise for at home. This is the only one you will ever need a piece of equipment for, but it is a very good investment and you should only have to make it once. And it beats paying a gym membership for an entire year. That's going to cost you hundreds, of thousands of dollars over a course of time. This purchase is simply a pull bar. Actually, I want to hear that. I already did this myself, so I got to unbox it myself. Link down in the YouTube description. If you want to pick one off of Amazon, they're only 28 to 30 bucks, but it just hangs above a doorway. And you can trust them, just read the descriptions and Amazon reviews and everything. They actually work, they sit on your door frame and they will be able to hold your body weight because they leverage the force on both sides of the door. So, that's your pull-up bar, and the only exercise you need for biceps and back are pull-ups. You will not outgrow pull-ups just like you won't outgrow push-ups because you can simply slow them down on the way down. You're not going to be able to do muscle-ups with these at home unless you basically don't have a ceiling. If you don't have a ceiling or you have a pull-up bar outside, then go ahead and try muscle-ups. You can do chin-ups, which will directly target the biceps more so basically you grab the bar palms facing you instead of the normal grip you can eventually if you get super strong do those one arm pull-ups or you can add a weight vest to it or a weight belt that holds a weight to it that is going to get you insanely strong and you never outgrow those and it's amazing for the back and bias so we pretty much got all the important upper body also Push-ups do hit those shoulders as well. If you do have dumbbells, then you can always supplement with dumbbell exercises like lateral raises or shoulder presses to hit the shoulders more. But between push-ups and pull-ups, you should hit the shoulders a decent amount. Moving on to the final part of our Triforce of exercises is going to be squats. It's going to hit almost all of your lower body, the glutes, the quads, and the hamstrings, and the calves. So a bodyweight squat is pretty easy. You stand up, and you're going down. If that's difficult, you can start by sitting into a chair, but most people can do squats. If you need form, form breakdowns of any of these, 
you can find them on my channel as well. I can help you learn the form and all of that. But squats are pretty simple. If you get to a point where you can knock out 30, 50 squats, 100 squats, no problem. Then you just get more advanced and you can always go into a pistol squat. So you're just going down on one leg all the way down and bring it back up. That'll make it super difficult for you. And that's how I advance my squats at home. Because you're basically squatting your entire body weight on one leg. So it's not easy. Those get easy, or if you're not ready for those, you can once again add a weight vest to your squats, slow down the reps on the way down, or you can even do pistol squats, same thing, slow it down the way down, or add a weight vest to it. To it. Those three exercises, if you do them, will get you insanely jacked, and you can do them all from home. The only thing that really matters out of any of this or anything you do fitness-wise is consistency. You can have the best workout plan in the entire world. Like from just the most fit person in the world. They can tell you exactly what to do. But if you don't do it, it doesn't matter. So I'm making this as simple for you as possible. Three exercises. You could do them at home. You pretty much don't need equipment other than maybe something to pull yourself off of. If you don't want to buy a pull-up bar, Go find a tree or a ledge to hang off of and knock out those pull ups. That's it. That's all you need to get jacked. The only thing you gotta get rid of are the excuses for not doing it and do it consistently three days a week. Now, those other two days a week, if you want to work out more than three, you can just continuously cycle these. So go chest, back, legs, or whatever order you find works for you and just constantly cycle them. Uh, just make sure you are getting adequate rest. So you can maybe use those other two days or a couple days a week for rest. If you want to supplement core, you can just pick your favorite core exercises that feel best for you. There are a ton of those. The ones I would say are really good are planks, leg lifts. So you could do those hanging from that pull-up bar and you just raise your legs up and lower them back down. You can go onto the ground and do some leg raises as well. And those would probably be my favorites. Or you can supplement cardio, whether that's just going on a walk or a run. Or maybe you go to a gym for an actual workout one day a week. Maybe that's the most you can really mix in going to an actual gym. So for me personally, I go to the gym I work at one day a week, do some killer cardio, get two to three miles in and some sprints. And then the rest of this week, I stay at home, play video games all day and do my body weight exercises. And that's how I stay in great shape. So this is all you need for the basics. Let me know if you have any questions, like and subscribe for more videos like this, making fitness at home as simple as possible. Thanks for watching.